We are not a secret society. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a big headquarters in Covent Garden. It's open to the public pretty much every day of the year. There's a library, there's a museum. We do public tours. Talk to any of my members. They'll be very happy to tell you what it is that we do. The things that are supposedly kept secret, the sort of the ceremonies, well, they're morality plays. They teach us to think on our, about ourselves, about our place in society, about people less fortunate than ourselves and how we might be able to help them. And if you want to see what they are, they're all on Google. Take you 10 seconds to find them. It's used within our lodges as a token of recognition and again it stems back from our history. In a time before CVs and in a time before people were literate, um, stonemasons had to prove that they'd attained a certain level of skill and so within our lodges this is used as a token of recognition but it's absolutely forbidden to use it outside of our lodges. Three hundred year old organization and we take our roots from the medieval stonemasons who used to wear aprons to protect themselves from stone chippings and gloves to protect their hands when they were building cathedrals and we use an analogy of building buildings to represent building ourselves into better people um, and that's really what Freemasonry is all about. I think that for far too long we've not come out and told people who we are and what it is that we actually do. Um, Freemasons do a huge amount for the communities that they're drawn from. Last year we raised £33 million in charity and that's not by going out and advertising and asking people for money, that's raised from our own membership. Some people will have a ring with a square and compass on, shows that they're a Freemason. Um, you know, there's various sorts of iconography. We have an all-seeing eye which people will recognise from on the American banknotes. That reminds us that we're being watched by something greater than ourselves and that at some point at the end of our lives we have to account for how we've behaved and what we've done during our life to something greater than us. I don't know where that's come from, uh, to my knowledge, there's my watch, Freemasons don't wear two watches. Freemasons have to believe in a God and it's worth saying that we take people of any faiths. And I'm really proud that our organisation has allowed people of all different races, all different classes, all different backgrounds to come together as equals.